Um, I'm Cassius Marsh. Uh, I play football for the uh, Seattle Seahawks. The defensive end, number 91. Um, went to the University of California, Los Angeles. So uh, my dad was a receiver in the NFL. Uh, he played for the uh, – he actually got drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars and uh, played for them for a couple seasons and then um, ended up with uh, the Steelers and uh, his final team. He played for Cleveland for a little bit. Um, so he spent a little bit of time in the NFL. So football's always been a part of my life. Um, you know, teachers ask you what your dream is. I always wrote down NFL football player. That was always my answer. And so um, I'm pretty much living the dream, man. I went to uh, Oaks Christian in Westlake Village and, you know, got to enjoy the whole process. You know, went to the Army All-American game, and went to UCLA and started all four years and then got drafted by the Seahawks in the fourth round. And uh, I'm entering my fourth season um, with the team. And, you know, it's my contract year coming up. So, you know, got to make, got to continue to make big plays so I can get that big, you know, that big payday. This has been a natural drive, man. Like I, I've always just wanted to be, better than, than, than the man next to me. I'm all about competition, uh, competing with myself as well as the people around me, uh, just always trying to be as elite as possible and, uh, you know, just, just chase the dream, man. I've always, you know, wanted to just be one of those guys, one of those, uh, you know, mar marquee names in, in the league and, uh, you know, just, you know, be those be one of those jerseys on the wall that the team sells and just, uh, you know, it's just always been a dream of mine. And so, um, I don't know anything other than the grind. So I really, I, I, I think it stems from, you know, watching my mom grind while uh, growing up. It was just pretty much me and her. Uh, you know, my dad was in the league, but he went through some things and uh, wasn't really, you know, around growing up. So, you know, I watched my mom grind hard to take care of me and, uh, you know, provide. I think in college, I turned down a lot of uh, parties, a lot of fun, a lot of fun I probably could have had. Um, same thing. In the first four years, you know, in these last three years of my of my NFL career, I definitely could have done more, could have been out more, having more fun. But um, you know, for me, you know, my mom always instilled just to um, to grind hard now, so you can do whatever you want to later, you know, and take care of the people who truly matter. And you know, I have my fun. Don't get me wrong. Like I know that you're gonna have to sacrifice some good times to to get to where you want to be. Um, you know, because I'm blessed athletically, but, you know, there's a whole lot of freaking natures out there. And, and, and you know, there's 300 and four, three, 400 guys coming into the league every year trying to steal the jobs that, you know, guys who are in the league right now have. And, uh, you know, the NFL stands for not for long, and I'm not trying to be one of those guys. I mean, I was a four-year starter at UCLA, and, uh, you know, my dream was always to be a first-round pick. Uh, that was just always the dream. That was always the, the goal. And, uh, you know, from far as long as I can remember, everybody was telling me that, you know, that's that was what my that was what my future was. That's what my potential was. And uh, when I came out of college, um, you know, unfortunately, I had a head coach who wasn't really supporting me the way that he should have. And I was put in a situation where, you know, I had to sacrifice um, making making more plays that I, you know, I could have made to, you know, for the betterment of the team. And unfortunately, you know, I, I on, on draft day, I was drafted. Uh, on the I missed the first draft day and the second draft day, which I never imagined would happen. And uh, that honestly broke me down. Um, I, I went through a really, really, really shitty time. You know, I uh, kind of it broke my heart, but you know, I, I, I kind of switched to the guy who was out a lot more and, and trying to go to parties and you know, looking looking elsewhere for you know for some for some way to make me feel good. I you know, I kind of ventured away from my family a little bit, and I just went through a whole lot of things and. Uh, it took me some time to, uh, to to understand that, you know, once you get into the league, it's, it's not, you know, because there's a lot of first rounders who, who are already out of the league, you know, guys who got drafted above me who are already gone. And, uh, you know, what it's about is the work that you put in when you get to the league. And, um, you know, so that was one thing that I went through that, that really crushed me because it was a dream that, you know, <clears throat> that's all I really thought about, uh, you know, until, until that day. And so um, once it didn't happen, it just crushed me, but, you know, it was something I definitely had to overcome. You know, confidence is everything. Um, you know, coming from my background, um, I'm a mixed kid, but, you know, you really can't tell. And I grew up in a really white area, so I was always kind of, uh, I was always kind of, like, pushed to the side. You know, I was like an outcast. And, uh, 
And so I always had confidence in myself, confidence in who I was and where I came from. And, you know, I didn't really care what people said about me. And, and uh, football became an outlet for me to just, you know, show who I was and, um, you know, perform at uh, a high level and, you know, get that praise from, from, from people who, you know, who were hating on me before, you know, and then they see me on the football field and, and they couldn't really say shit to me. The be the best version of you, um, you know, if, you, if you're always concerned about what others are doing and, and what others are and what they have and, um, you know, what they're doing, all those things, like, it, it distracts from, from what you're doing, you know? You, you wake up every day and, and, and try to be the very best version of yourself um, because nobody's going to get you to the top but you. Um, nobody's going to help you achieve. You know, some people might help you along the way, but nobody's going to get you there but yourself, you know what I'm saying? So... Every morning you wake up, every day you wake up, whenever you, you know, do your routine, you know, just be the best version of you um, on and off the field or on and off the court, you know, in and out of the office, whatever it is, you know, just be the best version of you.